Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in my drive-by. Today I'm in Punta Gorda, Florida. I'm actually uh, going to be uh, getting on the I-17. I'm on uh, actually on the I-75 going southbound towards Mockley, Florida. I'm going north 17 um, on route north uh, route 17 northbound. And uh, you can see on the left here is a big Bank of America. On the right, there's a uh, insurance company. We'll be passing Nesbitt Street. And you can say, see the sign that says this is 275. Uh, by the way, I just want to let you know uh, I record all my uh, dash cam videos with a uh, Panasonic TM700 high definition camera. I bought this camera about three years ago, and man, it's, it's been rock solid for me. It works like a looks it works like a champ for all my drive bys. It really is nice. I don't use GoPro. Nice thing about this, this camera, see, I could, I could, I could do close-ups, I could do far away, I could adjust it, really make it look pretty nice. So, uh, definitely like uh, using this type of camera. We were slow down there, it's 35, the speed limit will be about 1.3 miles we get on the 75 southbound. But uh, I wanted to bring up uh, my drive-by subject for today. Uh, like I say, it's 94 degrees, and today, um, it's about 3.05, and it's actually Tuesday, and it's May 12th, 2015. And uh, like I said, I am in southern Florida, past Cooper Street. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and start our video, uh, drive-by. Uh, first of all, guys, uh, I'd like to uh, shout out to Buffman, uh, Pete from the Army Channel, Weapons Education, Dan Meadows, uh, Scooby but Digibytes, uh, Hot Dog, Hot Dog, or a bunch of other people out there. Great YouTube people, uh, great subscribers, uh, and anybody else that I didn't uh, mention. There's just so many of you. We've got over a few hundred now. And thanks for growing my subscriber base. And I try to get you good content, content when I can. I wanted to bring up uh, the ten best guns to own. This is just going to be overall, if you had 10 guns, you know, 10 guns, and you had the money and everything, and you could buy what you want, what 10 guns would you own? Um, and, you know, I, I would always, I'm just going to bring up what I think is the 10 guns to own, and then you bring up what you think. I think a Smith & Wesson 500 should always be in the mix if somebody's going to have uh, 10 guns to own. Smith & Wessons are just, uh, man, it's the powerhouse. You just have to have them. Uh, whether it's a four-inch barrel or a uh, five-and-a-quarter barrel, I mean, a four-inch four -inch barrel or eight-three-eighths or, you know, whatever you want, uh, they're definitely a must-have. Uh, also, a nice rifle would be a, a, a nice high-capacity rifle, something really nicely made, uh, good quality. That would be a nice thing to have. Um, something that was reliable uh, and, you know, was just an overall really good quality made gun. AK-47, M16, AR-15, uh, 300 Blackout, 308, 50 caliber, whatever you want. A nice revolver. The, a the AR platform would be better getting like an AR-15 no spec because you can change the uppers all day long with them. Make them into 5.7s and 22s and everything, even 50 BMGs. So you can make a lot of different uh, calibers out of AR-15 if you had it. It's got a lot of utility. You could actually do a lot with it. A nice, just high-end AR spec, an AR-15 no spec. And uh, you know that's two. So what's another gun? Uh, a nice 1911 would always be nice. So Something nice, nice quality one. It doesn't have to be expensive. Maybe uh, you know, maybe an eight hundred dollar, five hundred dollar gun is what you can afford. Well, that would be nice. That would be a very nice thing to own. A twenty-two would definitely have to be in the mix. A nice twenty-two for target shooting or planking or something like that. Ruger makes some great products. Uh, probably if I was going to get one, some of the Ruger, uh, you know, Mark Threes. Even the, the earlier ones are nice. You want to get it in the uh, 
22 caliber because they all are, and uh, maybe even a 22-45, which uh, has the uh, 1911 type uh, grips. That would be a nice one to have. Um, Let's move into one more now. 45 caliber would be a beautiful gun to have. It depends if it's a target shooting or uh, you're just going to have a carry. Uh, a nice 45 would be nice. Uh, you know, you, you can actually supplement that having a 1911 45 or just a nice, uh, like a Glock. Glock makes some nice guns. And now, a range gun, it depends on this 9mm for the range, would be good. And for the sixth gun, you know, a nice 9mm range gun would be nice for target shooting. Uh, you know, when you can have a 1911 and 9mm, or you could, there's multiple guns out there. But generally, the heavier the gun would be a little bit better at target shooting, and if it's compensated, that actually would help too with the, uh, the muzzle flip. So four more choices of guns, and those basically could be anything you really want it to be. You know, maybe you could buy another uh, Smith & Wesson 500 or a 460. Five seven is always a nice gun to have. A little pricey, but it's a very nice gun to have. Uh, they, uh, you know, uh, it's 20 to 30 rounds it holds. Uh, the ammunition is fairly plentiful. You get the SS 188 pretty cheap if you look hard for it. Uh, they're good to hit guns they have. Uh, another one's and these these four can be any four. You can mix them up. You might want a Smith and Wesson uh, 40, uh, 357 Sig. You know, a 380, something like that. 25 caliber, Raven. Beretta makes a nice little uh, 25. So there's a lot of, a lot of, you know, uh, assorted and sundry guns that you can get. It depends on what you want. It's going to depend on your budget. But I would have to say, 10 top guns, 10 guns will be more than enough for any kind of shooter. You really don't need more than 10 guns. But it's going to really depend on you. You're using them for. I'd like to hear if you know the money really wasn't an object. What 10 guns would you own in your arsenal or in your collection? Uh, don't forget to get the 10 nice guns, you're going to need a nice safe. Uh, myself, I would recommend four knock safes, they make some great safes, they're not cheap. Uh, or you can get into if you want a little cheaper, a Liberty safe, they make a good safe too. So, but just uh, you want to stay away from the internet based safes. I was going to get one, and I think it was a Patriot, and man, I see the guy drill all the way through it. But it's just a drill. So, you got to really be careful with internet-based saves. You can save money, yeah, to get them for two or 2500 but the thing is, those saves uh, probably are not the best value for the money. But thanks a lot for tuning in, uh, and uh, I would just like to know what your 10 favorite guns are, your top 10 guns, you know, what you would like, uh, what you would own. What of the guns that you have now, what are your top 10 guns that you really like? Thanks a lot for tuning in to my video. I appreciate your time and uh, have a great day. Thanks a lot, guys.